is Omad Caroline. Happy Tuesday. I did the Spartan Super with my girlfriends over at Blue Mountain Resort in um, Pennsylvania. And don't think it sounds, you know, resort sounds awesome, but it was actually a double black diamond mountain that we climbed twice, you guys. It was horrific terrain. It was the hardest most stupidest thing I've ever done. I cannot believe this. Sarah sent a message said that um, the founder of the Spartan Race said that course is the hardest super in all of Spartan. So no. Just to think that I would have to do that twice to do a beast. I was like hex to the no man. Seriously. So um we actually changed where our beast is to a lot easier terrain and elevation because I wouldn't have made it. I can't believe I made this. So, um, no, it is just, it was just dumb. It was just dumb and it was horrible. And unless you guys have done Palmerton, oh, you want to hear about your supers. I'm glad that it was, it was awesome for you in that, but unless you have done Palmerton, you have no freaking idea what torture is. No freaking joke. Anyways, I'm just angry at myself. Still angry that I even put myself through that. No joke. That's that's how, like, I, I can't even put it into words. It was a race that felt like it never ended. It was, it was, yeah, I, okay. But anyways, I'm back. I'm exhausted. I got back Sunday night. Um, yesterday, I went to Cedar Point, which is an amusement park for um, my daughter's birthday. And my grandson just wanted me to lug him around. I had him on my shoulders. So I wasn't feeling like too bad, like as far as soreness and that. But I think it's just because I kept, I had to keep moving in that, you know. And then um, this morning, I'm feeling feeling some shoulder and lower back issues, but I think it was from Carrie and Tranis, but I'm just, I feel exhausted, you guys. Exhausted. So, um, but I have to babysit my grandson. So my daughter was working, she works a couple of jobs, so she was working the radio um, show this morning, and then she's working for the school system um, right after that. And then my son-in-law, John, they actually have, a, I, I say retro video game store, but it's kind of like a, a retro pop culture store. So like anything you can think of from your childhood, you know, in the 80s, 90s, and that is probably found in that store, you know. I, I even like saw a hug a bunch. If you guys are my age, you'll know what those are. Or actually those were like my little sister's jam the hug a bunches and cabbage patch dolls and stuff but pokemon cards and oh no gi joes all of that stuff but anyways um but he's got to run down meet with the building owner because they are planning on opening up this back area into a larger arcade area they got a little mini arcade but now they're thinking about stepping up their game and actually creating a big arcade so he's got to meet them but their vehicle has been kind of acting up and they had just gotten that so he's got to drop that off so I'm heading there to pick up my son-in-law in Tronis and then I will drive him to the shop drop him off so he can meet there so I have Tronis all day so pray for me because I am like exhausted I would have stayed in bed all day I was supposed to go have coffee with my mom and sisters so I probably would have got out of bed and went and did that, but um, but I had to cancel because I got to do this. But man, you guys, I am so freaking exhausted, tired. <sighs> it was rough. It's been a rough, I'm just tired. This old lady's tired. So um, pray for me to get through today. I'm, I am, I was talking to Ted because I'm thinking about starting that. You know, I'm going to do that five-day detox fast. And um, I think I may just give my body a rest. Maybe just walk for the five days. I may not do any kind of intense workouts or anything for those five days. So, 
not that you know I got plenty of fat I'm sure I put on quite a quite a few pounds because we drank the whole time and then we ate a lot so um yeah so but I'm gonna start that detox after I close my window tonight so I might jump on I know a couple of people said hey jump on let me know how you're doing it um doing it the reason why I usually like it's so funny like when I do prolonged fast I think the only person that like I like doing prolonged fast with Sarah I I I think the reason why is like I like I don't know I'm really funny I don't like encouragement or you can do this or anything like that we just kind of like touch base on how we're doing that's it we don't like you got the we don't do any of that crap it's just like we just are like you know freaking hungry right now and then we don't really we kind of just joke about crap you know what I mean so like I love doing it I think Sarah's doing it with me but um just know that I'm gonna get on but I'm a, I'm a horrible encourager for you to keep going and I don't like encouragement either so it's like I, I that's why I normally don't get on and talk to you guys day to day on how the past is I think I just like using I just like um, laying low and getting through the past if that makes sense so but I will I will jump on and tell you how I am doing you know so um I'm almost to this place oh, Sarah just texted <laughs> she asked how Ted's Oh, Ted like the beer. It's so funny. We we went to the grocery store the last night, and I ran in. We ran in to get a couple of drinks for Jamie, and they actually had a line of beer called Baby Jesus, and it was actually chocolate and peanut butter flavored. And I was like, is that not Ted or not? So I grabbed that and brought it back. And um, Ted tasted. He said it's okay. It wouldn't be his first choice, but he was okay with it. So he had. I think he had a couple of beers he had one that Sunday night and then he had one last night so yeah he, he drank them so I think he said they were okay Sarah so yeah but all right you guys I just wanted to touch base let you know how miserable that race was seriously like it was just stupid like I was like angry at myself for even like putting myself through that and putting my girlfriends through that it just was stupid we should have looked at the course ratings like it was the, uh, rated the heart one of the heart it's like in the top five of, of obstacle course it's like what and then our beast was like I think this one was ranked as far as obstacle course top top um was like four and then the one we were going to do our beast at was like five and I'm like oh hell no I am not doing I just was like, I am not doing it. I don't even care if I don't complete the trifecta. I will not put myself through that. It was like, I can't believe I made it. I seriously cannot believe it. It was just stupid. <sighs> oh, no. But anyways, um, yeah. So we, we changed locations to a much easier terrain, you know? Coming from the Ohio one, like... It was like, oh, that was fun. It's doable. This, there is no, there is no fun at all in this. It was five hours of total misery. And then they don't even measure, right? Like the girls' watches easily had us over 10 miles. It was supposed to be a six, it was supposed to be a 10K, not a 10 miler. It was ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Anyways, so... If any of you are like, hey, let's do the trifecta, and it's your first time going out, pick some easier terrains, because it's just stupid. Stupid to put yourself through that stuff, you know? I never said I was an elite at all, so. All right, well, John is calling me, probably wondering where I'm at, and I'm going to let you guys go.